Welcome back to another episode of Sabado's Kitchen. Today we are going to make a dish widely popular in Thailand. Though this is also popular in other Asian countries such as Malaysia, this time we are going to make our own version. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a pineapple shrimp fried rice. First off, we are going to peel the shrimps. You can devein the shrimps if you want, however, we will leave them intact here in this recipe. Next, we're going to cut our pineapples into cubes. We want the cube sizes not to be too big and should be small enough close to the size of our ingredients such as the sausage or the shrimps. Once the pineapple has been cut into cubes, let's cut the shrimps into smaller portions as well. If you are cooking for a single portion, you can leave the shrimps uncut or if you are sharing, then it's advisable to cut them into smaller pieces. Next up would be our sausages. Here we are using our favorite sausage which is the Taiwanese sausage, specifically the garlic flavor. Just cut the sausages into smaller pieces and set them aside. Once we have set aside our sausages, we will now mince our garlic. The amount of garlic depends actually on how much you prefer. We like the aroma of garlic a lot so we are putting uh, a lot. Now crack a couple of eggs into a bowl, then take a whole carrot and cut into to dices. This would add additional flavor and texture to our fried rice. Of course, we need the star of this dish, our leftover rice. You can either use a leftover rice or if you're cooking the rice the same day, then just lessen the water to avoid it from being sticky. Now in a pan, we fry first our sausages. Once it's cooked, just scoop them out of the pan and set aside, after which we fry our shrimps. Also once cooked, Set it aside together with the sausage for later use. Now that we have built the base of our flavor by infusing the sweetness of the sausage and the shrimps with the oil, time to incorporate all of our ingredients. We start by frying our garlic. Make sure to keep on stirring to avoid the garlic from burning. We just want the garlic to turn golden brown and there's only a small window between a golden brown fried garlic and a burnt one. Once we have the garlic turn golden brown, we now put in our carrots. As I've mentioned earlier, this would add additional flavor and texture to the dish. Just stir fry the carrots for a bit making sure not to overcook it. Besides, we don't want mushy carrots in our fried rice, do we? Right after stirring, we can then put in our eggs. Just beat the eggs lightly and pour it into our pan. Then using our spatula, just stir our egg mixture and scrape the eggs to the sides so that the rest of it gets cooked. This time our oil have been absorbed by our scrambled egg so just add in a little bit more of the oil for our rice to land into. At this point in time, we just have to mix and incorporate the rice with our egg mixture. If you haven't broken your rice into smaller pieces yet, you can do so now by using your spatula. Make sure to mash those rice lumps into smaller pieces, then continue mixing. After breaking the lumps and mixing them all together, time for us to season our fried rice. One key ingredient when making a pineapple shrimp fried rice is to put in curry powder. In addition to giving our fried rice a more vibrant color, the curry powder adds in another unique flavor brought by both sweet and savory spices. In this case, we are using turmeric powder as a substitute to curry powder. Next, we will put in our onion powder and then a little bit of heat from the paprika powder. Then make sure to mix everything well. Once mixed, set the rice into a side of the wok and then put in the pineapple. By now, our fried rice is almost complete. We just need to add in a dash of soy sauce to balance the sweetness of our ingredients and again, make sure to mix it completely. Now time to put in the sausages and shrimps that we cooked earlier. All that's left for us to do now is to toss them all together and we are ready to serve. If you like this video, consider subscribing and clicking on the bell button to get notified on future videos. Feel free to share and comment below on what you think of this recipe. Enjoy!